Ally DVM, your ultimate ally. Creating opportunities to drive better patient health and practice success. Hello, Amanda and Elisa here. Hello. We are going to be going into detail on our analytics feature. And Elisa is going to get started. Uh, we call these our dashboards. Um, the dashboards are an additional $90 a month if you're using part of the software. Uh, and these just give you a little more insight uh, than trying to find everything in your practice management system. You can store them in one place. Uh, the three we're going over today come with the package, but if you ever want to see additional dashboards, we can add additional dashboards in there for you as well. So the first one we have is our financial review. So if you just click on the magnifying glass right there, it's gonna start pulling numbers. And one of the things that I feel like is the neatest parts of these reports is they are updating hourly, just like our software. So you're gonna have the most current up-to-date information. You don't have to wait till the end of the month or um, at the end of two weeks. Like you always have this information available at your fingertips. On the top left where it says filters, you can enter date ranges um, if you would like. If you have more than one hospital that's using um, these reports as well, you can choose which hospital you wanna look at or if you wanna look at all of them, you can do that too. Uh, so this report, the financial review, is gonna look at your practice revenue. So um, months to date where you're at. It also has the trailing 12 months underneath that. So you can see how you're doing versus last year. It will also show you the number of invoices, how many of those invoices were for cats and how many were for dogs. And of course, other pocket pets, exotics, things like that. Um, when you're looking at these reports, anytime like you're hovering over a number and an underline mark would show up. So as you can see on our average invoice, it says 197.06. Well, if I wanted to see every invoice that uh, totaled that number, I can click there and it's just gonna show me all of my transactions. So you can even verify if you really wanted to <laughs> that that was our average invo invoice month to date. So just to let you know anytime you can see three dots or if you're on a number, um, you can uh, just click on that. It's gonna pull this report. You can then download the results into a CSV or an Excel file, You know anything that is easy for you to look at. So that's something nice as well. Um, so again, this is going to show you, you can see like, is our number of invoices up? Um, how about our average invoice? Then below there, it's going to show you, uh, so in your practice management system, it's going to pull over your invoice categories. So in exams, it will show you how much of your production has came from exams. Um, we have lab work, urine tests, whatever you have in your practice management system for those different areas. We're gonna pull those over and we're gonna show you production in each area. So you'll be able to view that. And then as well, we have a pie chart. If you like pie charts, uh, we have that on the right. And then below that, there's some different practice revenues. And as you can see, we put um, a definition of what, um, what the definition is for um, each different item, but they're basically close to the same, but right there that you would be able to view those different revenue areas too. So the financials works great. It's all there for you to view, download, do whatever you would like to do. Um, this practice is doing fantastic. They're up almost 36% for their revenue and um, their average invoice is up almost 10%, which is great. And the number of invoices is up 24.33%. So that's fantastic. Awesome. So if we go back to the analytics, um, we have practice DVM revenue. So when we click on this, again, you're gonna have filtering options on the top. So you can do the date range. Um, we just like to do one month here cause we're not gonna keep you guys. <laughs> we don't wanna take a, a little while to pull this, but again, if you have a certain practice you wanna look at, you can pick your practice. Um, or if you just wanted to look at one or two DVMs, uh, you can also just pick those DVMs too to see production. 
So this is going to list each doctor and their month to date production. It'll show you the number of invoices they've had, the number of patients they've seen, and out of those patients, how many were cats, dogs, other, or equines, the average invoice per patient, and then the average invoice. And the last one is the share. And all that means is that number underneath that person is, the, is what it equals to 100%. So our Maria on the top here, she's almost um, at 19% sharing in the revenue. So this is great. Um, so you can see how your doctors are performing based on that individual level. And again, we have the pie chart there on um, the right for you if you wanted to take a look at that. When we scroll down and see category revenue by DVM or staff, this is going to show you again, we're going to pull over your different areas you have in Cornerstone for your invoice item areas. So you'll be able to see how much um, production you have with anesthesia, drugs, gas, um, vaccines, just any items you have in your practice management system that you use for different invoice categories. We're going to pull those out. On the top, then we're gonna separate these by doctors. So as you can see, we have like dental, dental surgery. If you have a doctor that's performing awesome with dentals, why not ask, hey, what are you saying to your clients to get them to schedule their dentals? Like you're doing a great job. Let's try to share best practices. Um, that's a nice way to look at this as well. So it will show you, as you can see where it says employee and then it says on the blue line, the doctor how they're performing in each area that you have in your practice management system as well. So again, works fantastic, very easy to look at, updates every hour. Um, so you can log in and you can look at this um, however much you would like. So that report's also a nice one to view. Our next report we have practice retention. So this is a very nice report to have too. Um, it just takes a minute here to pull. But it's going to show you under current pets, it'll show you how many current pets you have, how many of those are canines, how many of those are felines. So you can, and if you wanted to, you can, again, we won't click the number because it would take a little, it would take a minute to pull that, but you can either download that report or click on that number and see um, how many felines you have that equals the 1,691. Then we will show you your lapsing pets. So this is, um, there's 998 lapsing pets. We break that into how many of those are canines and how many of those are felines. What's great is if you're using our software, we have an awesome lapsing pet. You could send it as a mass email, an automatic communication where we can automatically set a communication to go out to a client uh, if they become a lapsing client. You can also click on these numbers and download them. If you wanted to like call them or contact them by just a text message, you can do that as well. The next category is lapsed. So that means that um, they haven't been into the practice in over 36 months. So again, it's the same thing. Why don't we try to contact these people and get them back into the practice? Again, we have a great email. If you guys wanna use that, that we'd be happy to set up for you. Um, if you wanted to try to contact those clients and get them back into the practice. We'll show you your forward booking percentage. Um, something that's really neat about our forward booking percentage is for it to count for a forward booked appointment, the client has to have a service done. And when I scroll down here in the left hand corner, it's going to say core services defined and it's all the way at the bottom. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna list out, they have to have one of these services done and able for that to count as like a forward booked appointment. So just to let you know, just because they come in and like would buy dog food or maybe have a bandage change or something like that, that would not count as a forward booked appointment. So if forward booking is something you're working on and trying to get you know a little better at, this is a great, um, great little report to view. Next we have retention rates. So this is just gonna show you how your you know, retention is going, your canine and your feline 
Um, again, if you want to click on those numbers, you certainly can. And you can view your canines, you can view your felines, you can view them together, whatever you guys would like to do. So that's a nice and easy report there for you too. Um, we have retention stats. So this is basically going to go over uh, pets that are overdue for services. So in this first one here, um, as you can see, on the zero to three months, the first bar, there's basically 2,100 pets haven't been in for, since their last qualifying visit, which are those core services defined that we pointed out. And if you wanted to click on that number, which again, we don't want to take, okay, sorry, I clicked it. Um, so what this will do is this is going to pull a report and it will show you, okay, these are all the clients that we should try to get a hold of and hopefully get them to come back in. So those are just the clients that are overdue uh, for those items. So again, these are great things to use. Um, if you're using our software too, we can set up mass emails, automated emails. We can do a bunch of different things with you to help get those people in. Uh, the past due reminder type, I really like this report. So this is all pulled from your practice management system underneath your reminders. And I like to scroll to a smaller number. So uh, just because again, I don't want you guys to have to wait forever. But if we would say like, oh, we have, um, I think that said three people that are due for a thyroid test for a feline or five, excuse me. Um, when I click on that number, it's going to show me the five people. So I can easily just contact them right from this list right here and just let them know like, hey, we need to do a thyroid check on your cat. So that also works great too, um, that you can just pull that right there. And it's not like when you print it off from your practice management system, it's a huge list, it's front and back, and you know you got to try to get a hold of them. So um, that port report, I really, really like. And then below that, um, these two reports, they're still just reminder um, that are past due. So again, you can just click through those numbers and see like who's past due, um, pretty easy. The whole point is, you know, we want to make sure we're having the best health outcomes for the pets, getting them taken care of, you know, and how can we get them into the practice. So these are the three reports that come with the analytics package. Again, if you did sign up for analytics and you wanted to view some of our other reports, we do have other reports we can always add, and we would be happy to go through those other reports with you um, for the analytics piece. Um, so yeah. Again, love these reports. They're updating constantly. You don't have to wait till the end of the month and say like, oh, I, we should have scheduled more dentals. You can look at this and you can see how you guys are performing right away and know exactly where you are. And as a reminder, if you're new to Ally, we are not using any third parties to pull your data. So your data is safe and secure in our software. That's right. We do not have to use a third party, which means your information is safe. We never sell, trade, or give that away. Um, if you want to share these reports, of course, that's up to you. You have your own private login. Um, and if you don't want your staff to see the whole tab called analytics, your login can be the only one that has the analytics tab um, that shows these dashboards as well. So we can keep this very secure for you. But if you guys have questions, um, you can feel free to reach out to Amanda and I um, at sales at allydbm.com. Or if you have our individual emails, just feel free to holler out. But these reports are really great at making sure you guys know what's going on with your practice. Um, so yeah, Amanda, anything that you can think of that we may have forgot? Yeah, I think we covered it all. Okay. Well, I um, hope you guys liked having a sneak peek at those dashboards and let us know if you'd like to take a further look into them. Thanks for watching. Ally DVM, your ultimate ally, creating opportunities to drive better patient health and practice success.